Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your relationship analysis reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So this is a new series that I introduced to the channel. Uh, you can expect to see these. Uh, you can expect to see this series every day during the evening time, okay? 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time is when they will, uh, these series will be coming out every day, every night. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Let's see what's going on in your relationship. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel, all right? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. What is the message here? Hmm. Relationship analysis. What's going on in this relationship? Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. All right, we have the emperor. Big energy, right? The emperor is that alpha male. He carries that strong masculine energy. The emperor could even represent the energy of a divine, uh, of the divine masculine. The emperor could be a father, father figure, provider type. He's a leader, he's a boss, he's strong, he's powerful, he's reliable, he comes with great wisdom and experience. Let's look more into this. The Queen of Cups. Tell us more about the Emperor. Two cards, Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Hmm. All right, then we have the Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. All right, so Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Whoever this masculine is, he's taking on the energy of the emperor because he wants to take on a more assertive role. He's trying to, the emperor has a lot of control. He's typically in charge. I feel like there's a masculine who is trying to take charge of his relationship. Uh, the Queen of Cups is representing the woman who he loves, um, his the female love interest to a man, you know, uh, the woman who who has captured his heart. This man is in the emperor energy. He's taking charge. He wants to really get things under control between the two of them. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles here, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who can be a bit slow moving. Okay. But the Knight of Pentacles, it's like that slow yet steady energy, slow yet steady always wins the race. Um, I feel like this is a masculine who, hmm, he's about to take charge. He's about to do something here. The way he's in this King of Wands energy, the King of Wands is all about action, ambition, pursuit. He's in this Knight, this Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knights are all about action. So he's taking some steps towards her, but he's in this Knight of Pentacles energy coming towards her a lot more grounded than maybe he initially was in the past. He's making moves towards her. He's trying, that's what it is. It's like he's trying to get closer and closer to her. And I wonder what this is. Page of Pentacles. It could be that he wants to extend an offer to her. It's a pentacle though. Let me see. Clarify the page of pentacles. Everything is fine. It's an offer that he's going to extend to her. The thing is, he's been trying to get close to this woman, but I feel like he was blocked. Maybe there was still some work that he needed to do. You can't, it's like you can't, this feminine has a very powerful energy and you can't access her if you're not in the right energy or the purest energy. Like if you have some ulterior motives, 
You know, if you have some toxic traits, it's going to be very hard getting this feminine as your lover. So he's been passionately pursuing her, but I feel like he's been blocked. Um, there's some work that I believe the divine was calling him to do on himself. And it looks like he has done it. He's coming towards her a lot more grounded. So now I'm like, I wonder how did he pursue her in the past, you know? Um, but she doesn't have to worry. Of course, this is a feminine who is going to uh, re reflect on this offer, gain insight on this offer before accepting it. But everything is fine, is showing up. I feel like this masculine is headed towards this feminine in the correct energy. No more like, you know, ulterior motives, okay? No, no hidden intentions. Uh, that's the only way that he's going to access her or else he's going to continue to be blocked. But I feel like there's a pentacle here that he's going to give her. It's not a cup, it's a pentacle. So now I'm like, even on the back of the deck, he's the king of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles that he's going to offer her? Because page of pentacles is good news when it comes to earthly things, earthly matters. So like a conversation about, you know, maybe a job, maybe finances, maybe, you know, her security and stability. It's an offer. The only time I really see the page of pentacles as something romantic is if it's an offer of a commitment and it could be the ten of cups just showed up yeah he wants to commit it's the king of pentacles it's a pentacle so it's a love offer that comes with a commitment like he wants the real deal this time around with the ten of cups uh he wants that happily ever after um the type that money can't buy. So that's why he's coming towards her. The two of wands is carrying out a plan. Okay, makes sense. He clarified the nine of pentacles. I think he's tired of being single. I feel like this nine, this uh, nine of, you know, the nine of pentacles is someone who's single, independent, well accomplished. I feel like he's very fulfilled in his work life, his financial life, but not in his personal life, his romantic life. I feel like he's ready to, he's ready for love, okay? He's ready to start looking for a partner, which is why he's looking at this Queen of Cups as someone who could possibly be the one. Um, let's look at this five of pentacles here. So the world represents a successful completion. This is somebody who has completed their, their season of uh, where they were being called to focus on their career and finances. That's why they're so accomplished now. And they're like, okay, they've already done the work. So now it's time to focus on their romance. The star card is here. Eight of cups. So the star is wish fulfilled. Okay, this individual, it's like they're daydreaming. They're daydreaming about the feminine. Uh, this individual, they're lonely. That's what the five of pentacles is. And the star is daydreaming. I don't feel like this person wants to wait any, any longer. They feel neglected, abandoned. They feel left out in the cold because it looks like she definitely turned her back on him with the Eight of Cups. What happened there? Why did she turn her back on him? So these two people most like, yeah, she, I feel like the first time around, he didn't do his best when pursuing her the first time around. I feel like he made some mistakes, took some time apart. Looks like he's learned some, some really good lessons. I mean, he's in the Emperor energy, a lot more well-grounded. Um, so these two have history. Um, but yeah, it looks like she wasn't satisfied with him. So with the eight of cups, you know, the eight of cups represents, uh, walking away, walking away from the past, walking away from past investments. You have the four of cups that's here. Rejection. She rejected him in the past. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. That the seven of wands wanted to show up. Yeah, she was not having it. 
I feel like she had to stand her ground or speak up. Something here she was strongly against, something that he was doing she was strongly against, and she ended up rejecting him and leaving him behind. So he feels a lot of coldness and distance between the two of them. He's coming back. Look, three of wands. He's coming back. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like he ever really left her alone. I don't feel this, this masculine ever truly let go of this feminine. And I don't feel like he ever truly left her alone. Like, I feel like he was always at a distance kind of keeping an eye on her. He's very determined. Yeah, judgment, a decision. He has chosen her. That's the thing. Wow, that was the Ace of Cups. That was the Ace of Cups. She is his new love. I mean, I feel like this masculine has had a change of heart and really wants to commit now. But Lord knows what happened in the past that put this woman in the Seven of Wands where she had Seven of Wands to stand your ground and defend yourself and not let anyone make you feel pushed against the wall. What happened here that made her embody the energy of the Seven of Wands, that made her leave her cups behind, that she had invested so much of her time, love, and energy into? What made her reject him? Like I like I said, it feels like it was like a like a the first trial, he didn't do so well. Now he wants a second chance. He wants a second trial to do better. And, you know, we all make mistakes. No one is perfect. Yeah, I feel like he was using a lot of his wands to pursue this woman. And, you know, the wand, it stands for passion, ambition, determination, and pursuit. But maybe he wasn't going about things the right way. You know, maybe he allowed his passion to kind of blind him from seeing some of his decisions, how bad some of his actions and decisions were. Maybe even the way he was pursuing her could have overwhelmed her. It could have made her feel very stressed. Something here that he was doing from a place of passion and desire, it made this woman feel pushed against the wall where she had to stand up for herself. Sometimes too much passion can lead a person to becoming very possessive and obsessive. It can lead people to carrying very strong desires. of wands yeah there's something here i mean it could have been a misunderstanding but i feel like it was really bad justice getting what you deserve i feel like this man had so much passion for this woman that he could have been kind of reckless and careless um he could have had too much of a strong desire for her where he was kind of like crazy in love a little bit, seeing all these wands, like they were fighting each other. Like a love and hate situation. Um, I definitely see that he was very possessive and territorial. It put her in the nine of wands. That's a wounded warrior. It could have even traumatized her in a way, something about the way he was pursuing this woman but she'll be okay with the justice card here. He wasn't able to really get his way with her, like how he wanted to get his way with her. I feel like this is the kind of man where when he wants a woman, 
you know, he can, he can end up becoming a bit abusive. And what do I mean by abusive? He could end up trying to control her or possess her. And it'll kind of run her off, actually. It'll chase her away. I think that's what ended up happening. She had to take back her power with the Seven of Wands. She had to stand up for herself. She had to speak up or else he was going to take her power. There's something here with these two where it's like they were fighting each other. Yeah, the High Priestess. I wonder if there was even... These two could have even had a past life together. Yeah, these two... These two could have had a past life together where there was abuse in their relationship from a past lifetime. And maybe it was like that kind of karmic uh, energy that followed them into this, this lifetime that they had to resolve. Yeah. She couldn't take it. I feel like in a past life, this man was like, really, he was too much. He would, he would overpower her. It was an abusive relationship. He would overpower her where she would feel so weak, so defeated, like 10 of wands. There's something here that he would do, like literally feeling, you see how this woman is fighting. There's seven or six wands being thrown at her and she's all by herself. She's defending herself. There's something here that he would do to sort of capture her and take her power. And make her feel so weak and powerless. Yeah, something happened in a past life. Look, the Ace of Swords is the truth and clarity. This happened. This is a demonic spirit that she had to conquer in this lifetime. And clearly, yeah, Ace of Swords is the truth and clarity. Ace of Swords is a big yes card. That's what happened in that past life. Wow. that's a It's a big yes card. It stands for the truth and clarity. It also stands for uh, confirmation. They th These two people have an abusive past with each other. I feel like more so it happened in a past lifetime. Um she it looks like she was able to leave this you know separate yeah it's like she escaped but look at how the seven of swords so in the past life she escaped but in this lifetime she didn't escape she stood her ground fought her way out and took back her power and walked away you see how this woman's sneaking away you see in the past life, this woman had to run away. She had to sneak off where he couldn't find her. She lived in fear. This man was a complete nightmare. But in this lifetime, she literally walked. It's like she turned her back and walked away and he couldn't do nothing. He couldn't abuse her. He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't you know, chase after her. Seven of Swords in the, in the reverse. There's no sneaking off here. She told him, I'm leaving and she left powerfully and with confidence wow seven of swords in the reverse i rarely see that in the reverse y'all because in the upright it's like being sneaky not wanting someone to see what you're doing but in the reverse she's like no you're gonna see this you're gonna see me pack my bags you're gonna see me leave Wow. And so at this point, the five of wands, something happened when she, when she walked out of his life confidently and powerfully, things in his life started to crumble. 
things in his life started to crumble. It's almost like he was building off of her energy, her power. So when she took back her power, no wonder it felt like he wanted to dominate her. He wanted full control, power, and dominance over this woman. And when she took back her power, it's like pulling the rug from under someone. You know, um, everything destabilized in his life when she walked away. We're at 20 minutes, you guys. Um, if you don't already know, the relationship analysis readings here on the channel, they are sort of like exclusive readings. Um, so we always continue it in the extended. There's definitely more to know. There's a story behind this. Like it comes from past lifetimes. And it'll help you to understand why certain things happen the way that it did in this relationship. We're going to continue this reading in the extended. If you're interested in the extended, um, definitely check out the description box. I'll put the link there or check out the comment section. I'll pin it in the comment section. So it should be the very first comment that you see. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue it. Also, you guys, I decided to open up three more slots, okay? Three more spaces for private readings. Uh, after this week, I'm going to officially close private readings. And I, I most likely will not reopen it until December. So I can take three more people. Um, if you're interested, email me and I'll give you more information. I also uploaded a short video about it yesterday. So yes, if you're interested, you can email me, uh, the dream clairvoyant at Yahoo. And yeah, you guys, I'll see y'all in the extended. Wow. What a reading. Take care, everyone. Many blessings to you.